Hello friends, welcome back to 70 by 70. Today is the fourth day of our stay in Uzbekistan. We are going for a long trip outside Tashkent to a very famous city called Samarkand. Let's go and enjoy our day in Samarkand. This is the route that we'll be taking. It's going to be about five hours drive, a long drive. So we had to leave very early in the morning. We are on our way to Samarkand. This is our uh, breakfast halt. After an hour of driving, we stopped at a very nice place to have our breakfast. It was very pleasant to sit outside and enjoy our food. After our breakfast, we started on our long drive. The sides of the road were not very impressive. They looked almost dry. It was because of the season that we were going in. Otherwise, they say there are a lot of cotton plantations and both the sides would look green with cotton plants. It looks so we have arrived at Samarkand. A lot of buildings, more activity. We are entering Samarkand city. Okay. This is the memorial for the great astronomer Olug Beg. We will be visiting this while we are returning back from Samarkand as this lies at the outskirts of the city. And let me leave you at the hands of our tourist guide to explain a few things. Ruler of Mount Arun, 1370, 1370, and you know he captured, he captured nowadays Iran, Iraq, Turkey, Moscow, Delhi. Also, he uh, captured Delhi also. Delhi. In yes, in 1398, Amir Timur. You know, all of the world, yes, all of the world uh, call him Temur Lang. Temur Lang. He was a lame. He was a, yes, he was lame. When he yes, he was talking about Amir Timur, the founder of Timur dynasty. One of the reasons why I chose to visit Uzbekistan was our Indian history. All of us know the Mughal Empire, which was founded by Babur. Do you know he is one of the grandsons of Amir Timur? It's a new construction, all this new construction. We have really laid out Samarkand city. Now we are going to visit the most important landmark of Samarkand. Our very famous place, very famous place in Uzbekistan, it's uh, uh, Registan Square. It's a Registan. Registan means it's a sandy place. Sandy here, sandy yes, sandy place. Sandy. Here, many years ago, many years ago, here was a river. River, river yes. And river disappeared from here. Then after that, this place became this sandy, sandy place. And you know, after nine century, this place very comfortable was a very comfortable for Badar because it's, a, it's a, yes. Right, and uh, came here with uh, camels, with horses, with donkeys, and with caravans. And he stayed, and here was a uh, caravan sarai big. In you know, then after that, after in uh, 15th century, in 15th century, was constructed here first building. On the left side, you can see here this is Mirza Ulubek Madrasa. Mirza Ulubek. Who was a uh, Mirza Ulubek? Mirza Ulubek, as I told you, is the grandson of, uh, grandson of Amir Timur. He was scientist, scientist. He learned uh, sky. I mean, this uh, stars and uh, he was astronomy. He was astronomer. This is Ulubek uh, Madrasa. Tomorrow there is going to be some music festival. 
and so all the preparations are going on and nobody is allowed inside. This is a Now we are driving towards Gur e Amir complex. You know why this building constructed? You know the, the Amir Temur's uh, grandson is Muhammad Sultan. He had to be instead of Amir Timur. And he had to be the uh, ruler of Mawarau Nahar. But when he was uh, seven years old, he died. And you know, Amir Temir very too much loved this uh, grandson. And after that, he died. After that, Amir Timur uh, decided to uh, build for uh, he, uh, uh, his memory and the one Makbara. And he was constructed this Makbara in the 15th century. And <coughs> This is uh, Muhammad Sultan buried here and after two years, after one year, uh, 1405, Amir Timur also died. And he also buried here. Amir Timur and his grandson, two grandsons and two sons and his teacher also buried in that place. Yes, buried place. When we now enter, you will see and it's a very nice uh, building. One of the well, this is a very interesting monument. Here is where most of the descendants of uh, Amir Taimur are buried, including his most favorite grandson, and also most of their teachers. 1336 and died 1405. And this is green one, green one, this is the same part. You see, this is here. Ankara, Ankara, Barsa, nowadays is Turkey. You see, this is Baghdad. You like Baghdad? Baghdad, Hamoud, Shiraz, Isfahan, you see? This is, nowadays, this, this, this is all his empire. Yes, all his empire. Delhi, you see, Lahore. Oh, Delhi, India, Delhi. Yes, he captured it in. Uh, Amir Tamur's uh, grave. This uh, grave contains a uh, few other graves of his relatives also. Uh, his grandson, Iglubek, and uh, their teacher, I believe. You feel so elated when you stand in a spot where history was created. Are they gold? Maybe painting, gold painting. This is a wishing tree. If you touch it and if you wish, your wishes will come true. After learning some good history, we are heading towards our nice lunch. This is uh, Karim Bek's restaurant where we are going to have lunch. Now that we had a hearty lunch, we thought we will visit a local bazaar. Samarkand is popular for dry fruits as usual and we visited a dry fruit market. This is the dry fruit market of Samarkand. Now uh, we are at the uh, Iglubek Astronomy Observatory in Samarkand. This is Ulugbek Taimur, the son of Ibn Taimur, who was ruling Uzbekistan uh, late 13th century. This Ulugbek is a scientist and an astronomer, and he had built his own astronomical observatory unit. 
which uh, was one of a kind in that early timing. Let's go and see what we have uh, inside. Now we are inside the Uluk Beg Observatory Museum. A lot of information about Uluk Beg and a lot of information again about how he was so sharp in astronomy in such an early time. Ogulbeck's observatory, 14th century, really amazing. I'm sure you enjoyed the sights of Samarkand and its important historical connection towards India. Now another four more hours of drive before we get back to Tashkent. Tomorrow is our last day. What are we going to do? Just a week more. Wait and I'll show you what we can do tomorrow. Thanks for watching.